India is, they're both very poor countries, India particularly. Uh, India is a huge amount of uh, poverty is extraordinary. Uh, people live under miserable conditions. There's also extreme wealth. It's a, uh, uh, but highly concentrated. Uh, it's it, it's just beginning a path of development, which will take a long time. China has developed enormously in the past several decades. It's uh, raised about seven or eight hundred million people out of poverty. It's not a small achievement. Uh, it's uh, it has the bulk of the manufacturing capacity of the world. But remember, that's in China, but it's not China owned. So if you have an Apple iPhone, it was uh, assembled in China under the direction of uh, probably Foxconn, Taiwanese company, and the profits are going back to the Apple Corporation back in their uh, home headquarters, which they've conveniently placed in Ireland so they don't have to pay taxes. Uh, that's the biggest multinational corporation in the world. Uh, the 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 value that's actually transferred to China is very small. Large part goes to the uh, uh, distributors like Foxconn, but most of it back to the corporate headquarters, um, which are basically in what are, what economists call rentiers, basically based on rent. They're making their profit from patents design, all uh, established in the highly anti-free trade, free trade agreements, which give enormous protections, un un unprecedented protections to investor rights, including a patent regime of a kind which never existed in the past. That's how Apple became the world's greatest corporation. Uh, well, so China's developing, but if you look at if you look at the ownership of the world's wealth, uh, turns out that about fifty percent of the world's wealth is held by multinational corporations based in the United States, not based in China. Uh, well, those are part of the socioeconomic structures of the actual world, China is faced with enormous internal problems, demographic problems, ecological problems, remaining poverty, they've eliminated uh, uh, it deep poverty, but still a poor country. Uh, it's, uh, 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 it has, uh, it's faced with military problems the United States is surround, official policy in the United States, I'll quote it, Biden, is to surround China or the ring China with what are called sentinel states, a heavily armed, advanced precision weapons provided by the United States aimed at China, South Korea, Japan, Australia, uh, the U.S. Pacific Islands, uh, a ring to surround China. Uh, the Ch Biden administration has recently, a couple of weeks ago, virtually declared war on China. It's the way it's described in the business press, international business press. The United States is now committed to making sure that China does not develop economically for the next generation. The U.S. is going to block, use its control of supply chains to prevent advanced equipment like chips, microchips, uh, to go to China for its economic development. And this has a severe effect on many other countries, like one of the main producers of the most advanced chips is the Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands have not yet indicated whether they're going to accept 
the U.S. demand that they undermine their own economy as part of the U.S. war against China. Same with Samsung in South Korea. Same with major companies in Japan. Will they hang on to the U.S. coattails in the war against China or will, and suffer severely themselves? Same problems arising in Europe. The Europe, the basic economic system in Europe is German-based. Germany's created a complex industrial system uh, ranging from the Netherlands to Slovakia, uh, which has been the main uh, success story of the economic of the modern economy. Well, it's being severely undermined by the U.S. demand that they cut off relations with their main source of resources, Russia, not just fuel, minerals, uh, all the resources they need for development. So will they agree to decline, maybe deindustrialize, as part of the U.S. effort to dominate the world? It's a big issue in Europe right now. It's a big issue in East Asia. Japan, for example, has has so far not agreed to abandon its development projects with Russia and China, as the U.S. is calling on it to do. These are struggles going on all over the world, very serious ones. Not easy. It's, uh, there's a famous statement that comment that when the elephants fight, the grass is trampled. Well, Chile is the grass. Uh, it has to find a way to be as independent as it can from the great powers. Now, it's not comparable. Uh, China did not impose a brutal, vicious military dictatorship in Chile from which Chile has still not extricated itself. Uh, the United States did, as you, I don't have to tell you, not just in Chile, but in Brazil, in Uruguay, Argentina, throughout the whole South American region. China's expanding through what's called soft power, loans, development, uh, and so on. Of course, have to be careful about them don't want to fall into a debt trap. So you have to be careful when you take loans. But that's a little different from uh, uh, a military dictatorship which uh, uh, murders thousands of people and tortures tens of thousands. It's a different kind of pressure. So you have to find your way between them. It's kind of striking to see what's happening. Uh, uh, during the COVID epidemic, Brazil was, uh, there were Cuban doctors, Cuban doctors working in the rural areas in Brazil where Brazilian doctors don't want to go. The conditions are too awful. That happens in much of the world. But Cuban doctors were working there, uh, giving the only medical aid. Well, under U.S. pressure, the Brazilian government, Bolsonaro government, withdrew them all. Same thing happened in Panama. Under U.S. pressure, Panama expelled Cuban doctors who were providing services that no Chilean doctors would provide. Well, it's the kind of pressure you're under. Incidentally, there's no secret about this. The U.S. government is very proud of it. If you look at the web page of the Department of Human Services under Trump, they regard this as one of their great triumphs. Uh, also preventing Brazil from using Brazil from using Russian vaccines, uh, which they desperately needed. These are regarded as triumphs in the United States. It's not secret. I don't have to. You can read it right on their own propaganda. Well, China's not a saint by any means. <laughs> Far from it. Uh, but they're not applying these methods. So you have to be very. The grass has to be very careful. Careful not to get trampled by the elephants. Mm -hmm.